Hello, my name is Yu Zhu. This talk is about automatically generating high-performance matrix multiplication kernels on the latest Sunway processor. I want to start by background and motivation. The Sunway Taihu Lite remains one of the farthest supercomputers. It is used to execute high-performance computing applications, among which general matrix multiplication is one of the leading importance. It is an extremely important numerical kernel in numerical algebra and also important in artificial intelligence and machine learning. However, the Sunway architecture cannot directly use existing BLAST libraries for CPU or GPU. Many efforts to optimizing matrix multiplication incurring high engineering cost. Prior approaches are not portable for the latest processor. A practical combination approach for the new processor is still missing. Automating the generation of high-performance code is not straightforward. Some approaches have to expose the architecture information or only generate the innermost loop, leaving data movements a duty of the programmer. We prefer to believe that both the programmer and the vendor expect a combination tool to manage the more complex task. In fact, there already exists prior work for CPU and GPU doing so. Inspired by this, we present an automatic code generation approach for matrix multiplication on the latest Sunway processor. Then I will introduce some background information about the processor and polyhedral combination. The Sunway architecture is a heterogeneous system. One processor includes multiple clusters. Each cluster is composed of one management process element and 64 compute processing elements. We study automatic code generation for each cluster. The 64 compute processing elements work together in an asynchronous manner. Each compute processing element manages a software-controlled data scratchpad memory. The next generation machine will adopt this Sunway 26101 Pro processor. The reasons that make prior methods inefficient are two-folded. First, the memory size of one compute processing element has increased, making manually defined tile sizes and data movements not optimal. Second, the new processor allows to share large data tiles through a remote memory size mechanism. The second part of background information is polyhedral compilation. We leverage the polyhedral model to implement our approach. The polyhedral model is a mathematical abstraction to reason about loop transformations and memory optimizations using integer sets and affine relations. It can take the three-dimension loop nest of matrix multiplication code as input, represent it as a scheduled tree, and perform loop transformations and memory promotions as shown in figure E. Now I will introduce the first task of our work, compute decomposition. That is, break down the code into smaller independent blocks such that the compute processing elements can work in parallel. Compute decomposition is achieved by performing loop tiling. However, the tile size selection issue has not yet been modeled by any polyhedral tools. The objective of our analytical model is to match the configuration of the assembly microkernel. 
the best performing microkernel on of matrix multiplication on Sunway processor is configured as 64 plus 64 plus 32. So we use this fixed tile size and get a schedule tree as shown in figure A. Then we substitute the first two integer divisions in the outbound node using column ID and row ID for hardware binding. Then we will get a schedule tree as shown in figure B. However, the microkernel only computes the partial result. The picture below shows the distribution of matrix elements on the memory hierarchy of one cluster. A possible solution is to promote all the data needed to compute the accumulation of all products along the reduced dimension. Fortunately, the processor allows for remote memory phase of data between compute processing elements. We leverage the row and the column broadcast mechanism to share the data. So each compute processing element can still buffer a small size of the input matrices on its own memory. We streamline the reduced dimension to enforce the sequential communication of matrices along the horizontal and vertical direction. The result schedule tree is shown below. The next step of our approach is automating DMA communication. The A-thread programming model for the Sunway processor provides a suite of communication interfaces that exchange data between the main memory and each local memory of compute processing element. Here gives the syntax. The parameters needed include source and destination memory address, total size of transferred data, length of continuous access data, and the stride between discontinuous parts. Inserting a foreign DMA statement in schedule tree is realized by extension nodes as shown here. The difficulty is to compute the values for each argument of the DMA syntax. After compute decomposition, all of the computing processing elements are distributed into an 8 plus 8 mesh organization. We suppose that the matrix is of size x plus y, and the size of matrix, matrix executed by the compute mesh is x hat plus y hat. How these parameters are computed is listed here. If you are interested, you can go through our paper to get the details. By inserting DMS diamonds in schedule tree, we automatically implementing data movements from the main memory to the scratch map pad memory of computing processing elements. The next step of our approach is implementing RMA broadcast. The latest Sunway processor provides three remote memory access manners, point-to-point, -point, row or column broadcast, and all broadcast manner. The RM interfaces are similar to the DM interfaces. And the, a fine relation of the extension node of RMA should be inserted in schedule tree, and the constraints of extension node should imply the shape of the tile delivered by RMA. The schedule tree is shown below by inserting RMA extension node we automatically implementing data communication within the compute processing elements mesh. Until now, on one compute processing element, DMA communication, RMA broadcast, and inline assembly kernel are executed sequentially, as shown in figure A. In fact, the DMA communications of matrix A and B of one iteration 
can be hidden be behind the execution of the previous iteration, leading to overlaps between dynamic communications and the computing. Figure B shows the hiding mechanism of DMA, and Figure C shows the second level pipeline that happens between RMA and the computing kernel. We implement the software pipeline on top of the schedule trees. The price to pay for it is the double numbers of local buffers in scratch pad memory. Now the final schedule tree could be scanned to generate the code. We separate code generation into two facets, with AST first produced using the functionality of ISL and the ISRAD syntax next printed. Reusing the AST generator of ISL reduces the, in the engineering cost. Another benefit is its portability of other programming models. We combine inline microkernel with polyhedral transformations. The assembly microkernel is provided as a compiled object, which has been highly optimized by the Sunway architects. Combining it with polyhedral transformations can achieve near-peak performance. We use a mark node in schedule tree to instruct the code generator to print an assembly microkernel assembly function core. We also implement fusion of matrix multiplication with other operations. Now we support automatically fusion with element-wise, prolog and epilog. We implement our approach in PPCG compiler and compare the performance with XMAS version 2, the highly tuned BLAST library of the Sunway processor. We report GFLOPs of each code version. The baseline version colored in red is the code generated by our compiler with automatic DNA communication enabled. The average performance is about 85 GFLOPs. The second version, orange bars, shows the results using the inline assembly microkernel we can obtain a mean speed up of 2.83, with the average performance increasing to about 240 GFLOPs. The third code of variant is represented using green bars with the RMA broadcast enabled. It raises the mean number up to about 1050 GFLOPs. Finally, we show the overall performance of our approach that turns on all optimizations. We get an average performance of 1,849.06 GFLOPs. We also collect the GFLOPs numbers of XMAs. Our approach outperforms it by 9.62%. Here we also give the results of batched matrix multiplication results. The average performance value of our work is about 1,900 GFLOPs. The batch dimension cannot be embedded into XMAS, which decreases its performance. On average, our approach outperforms XMAS by 1.3. For the fusion patterns, we compare with the best line that does not perform fusion, which invokes XMAS for matrix multiplication and executes the prologue and the epilogue on management processing element. Our work supports the best line by 1.26 for fusion with the prologue and 2.11 on average when fused with its epilogue. Finally, the conclusion of our work. We present a method to automatically generate matrix multiplication kernels for the latest Sunway processor. Complex transformations including compute decomposition, 
DMA, RMA, and memory latency hiding are all carried out as polyhedral transformations. Low-level optimizations are packed in an inline assembly kernel, which is embedded into the compiler-generated code. The approach exhibits better performance than XMAs for both batched matrix multiply and fusion patterns, while reducing the engineering cost to program on the Sunway processor. With our method, one can obtain up to more than 90% of the theoretical performance with a few lines of C code. Thanks for listening. If you are interested in our work, you can go through our papers to get more details.